Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a bit of a geek video. It's about the calculation for the screen blend mode. So the screen blend mode is in the lightning category and uh, it's a very, very commonly used one for lightning. The overall calculation as a formula is 1 minus blend minus 1, which is the inverse of blend, multiplied by, by the inverse of base. And as you can see here, you could switch the base and blend layers and you get the same effect. So it's commutative. But what's this mean? Well, in other words, what it is, is first of all, you invert the blend layer. Then you invert the base layer. And then you multiply those two together. And then you invert the result because one minus is doing an inversion. Well, let's do it. Let's try it out. We can actually do that in practice. Here's a picture, control J to duplicate it. And I get the top layer, turn that to screen mode. As you can see, it lightens it. So before and after. So shift click the bottom one, control G to group it. And I will call this one screen. So we've got this one here, the screen blend mode. I can hit control J to duplicate that as well and call this one artificial screen. So now we've got the two layers again. But what we're going to do now is for the moment we'll just leave it to the top layer is going to be normal. This one on the bottom here we're going to turn this off altogether so just to make sure you can't see it but you couldn't anyway. And then we take the layer at the bottom here and invert it so hit control I that inverts it so that's like that. Take the top layer, control I, invert it. So I've got two inverted layers now. And then we want to multiply them together. So I go to here and to multiply. And there you go, so it's got darker. And then we want to invert that again. So to do that, we go to the group and to the invert here. So we're adding invert overall. And there we go. We've got ourselves an artificial screen blend mode. We can do that by turning this layer off. So here's the artificial screen. Put the bottom one underneath on. So I turn off the top layer. This is now seeing the screen of the bottom layer. Guess what? No difference. Top layer again. Yeah, screen off. So screen off there. Nothing on. Turn the bottom layer on. So there you go, you're getting the same. So in other words, you can duplicate it. So let's go back and have a look at what we're talking about. There's a big question here is, is, is well, if, if, if green is the opposite of multiply, in which you multiply layers, why all the kerfuffle, you know, the opposite of multiply is divide? Well, in multiplying, uh, you're going to know that colours are held as fractions. So any colour, red, green and blue, are all 0 to 1. And if you multiply a fraction by a fraction, you get another smaller fraction. Which is great if you want to make something darker, as you do with multiplying, because the smaller the number, the darker it is. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 gives you 0 0.18, which is going to be a smaller number, which can be a darker colour. So, but in divide, if you try doing by a divide, then you're going to get a fraction divided by a fraction again, but that can be greater than 1. So, for example, 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.3 is 2. And if you can only get from 0 to 1 as a colour, then it's basically going to be burnt out. So you would get a problem. So you get it fully saturated, you get burnt. So divide's not really going to work to make things lighter. You just get some weird effects. An awful lot of things will be just plain white. So there's this question of the one minus thing. What's that thing? Why do we do this one minus? Well, one minus is a way of inverting, and it's not the mathematical way, because the mathematical way is one divided by you put one over the thing. But in with the computer and with this this situation, then you have one, you have one minus it, and that's called an inversion. So in other words. If you've got a colour here, 
with 0.7 red, 0.9 green and 0.3. What you want are these three colours here. That's the inverted, so that 0.7 becomes 0.3, 0.9 becomes 0.1 and 0.3 becomes 0.7. So it's kind of reversible because you, you invert 0.3, you get back to 0.7 and so on. So you can invert it, get one, invert it again and get back to the original, which is very useful. Because what you get is, is and the way this works, and you see this in all kinds of other ways, is a pattern where you invert it, you do stuff, and then you invert it back again. So you get to it, get it done twice. In other way, you get the similar pattern of, of doing things like in um, engineering, you use, for example, a root mean square, which means you square something, do stuff, and then you take the square root of it. See, it's the same principle. Anyway, if you're not into RMS, don't worry about it. So here's let's let's watch a calculation happen. So you start off 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 0 0.3, and you get this got a nice colour here. So green is uh, the dominant colour, so it's greenish. And then the blend layer, not 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.8. So this is got a stronger blue. Now then, I take those three, and we want the invert. So we get the, what's left at the top here is here. So we get 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.7. And take these three here in the blend layer. The invert is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and 0 0.2. So we need to multiply these together now. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.8. So there we get 0.3 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.24 and so on like that, which is going to give you 0 0.3 point times 0 0.8, 0 0.24 is here, and so on. So you get these quite small numbers here. But what you're interested in is this bit up here, the invert of that again. So these three then are taken into the result layer. And guess what? These are bigger than the ones down here. And you end up with a lighter colour. And that's how it actually works in practice. Anyway, that's it. and. Hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching.